I love you. you know? I love you. I love you, Barry. I love you, Barry Z. Okay. Love you. Mm. Air kiss. Mm. Who is coming by tonight? Can you hear me, you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me say, welcome to the Midnight Classic Cinema at Cinema Village. My name is Barry Z from the Barry Z Show, and my special co-host is the best-selling author Lexa Roseanne, who wrote the Supermarket Sorceress. Let's hear for Lexa Roseanne. Hi guys. Wow. Hello. Come on, yeah. you can do better. Woo! There we go. Tonight is Friday the 13th, you know. It is! Yeah, and we are screening the thriller Rosemary's Baby in honor of us. Um, now, we want to know if you have any questions for Lexa Roseanne, because um, she's going to be doing a Q&A with us and knows everything about the movie, right? I know a lot about the movie. It's one of my favorite movies, one of my top three. Now... She is a self, not a self-ordained Wiccan or witch, no, are you? No, an initiated high priestess. She's a high priestess, okay? And you're also, of course, a witch. I am a witch. Okay. And you practice, you know, uh, where? I practice magic. I know. Where, where do you do that? Oh, I'm, privately? In, I'm, in, I'm in Manhattan privately. I have a website, Lexa Rosian. What is your website? Tell them out there. LexaRosian.com, L-E-X-A. R O S E A N dot com. Now you're so fascinated by this movie as uh, everyone else is, because it has to do a lot with witchcraft and the Wil Wilkin. Is it the Wiccan? Not the Wilkin. Wiccan. The Wiccan culture. What is the Wiccan culture? Well, Wiccan is uh, <clears throat> a modern reconstructionist religion based on what could be pieced together of the ancient matriarchal religions, which uh, some people don't believe existed, some people do. It's the, the religion of witchcraft, right? Or is that a religion? Which, witchcraft could be a religion or a practice, but Wicca is more a reconstructionist religion based on the principle that the divinity is both male and female, god and goddess. Why are you so enthralled by this movie? Hi, guys. Hi. Thanks so much for coming by. We're doing Q&A, talking to best-selling, is it authoress or author? You can say author. You can say author. Author, Lexa Sorry. Roseanne, who wrote an incredible novel. It's a novel, right? No, no, no. Or it's cookbook. It's a self-help book. It's called The Supermarket Sorceress. The Supermarket Sorceress, and it's all about witchcraft, which is what this movie is about, witchcraft. Why have you fallen in love with this movie or been a follower of it for so many years? You want to know the truth? Yeah. I love this movie because Roman Polanski is a genius. Ira Levin wrote an amazing novel, and it's probably the only film that was so true to the book. I don't, I mean, I love the movie because of Ruth Gordon, because she's fabulous. She's totally fabulous. But I actually don't like the movie because of the witchcraft. And there's actually an interview. It's not an interview. It's a, in like one of the later editions that Levine gave on, of the, the novel Rosemary's Baby. Uh, he wrote that he was very dismayed about, he felt like he opened the door for all these movies that uh, came after, like uh, The Exorcist, The Omen, that he sort of let the demons out of the box. And as a witch, uh, <clears throat> I was initiated in 1982. And I remember in 1982, or in, even in 96, when uh, my first book came out, I did a radio interview in Texas, and the guy wanted to burn me at the stake. Oh, okay. So we've actually done a lot of work. Uh, oh my god. Kind of, not Should cleaning, I go like, OMG! Not cleaning up witchcraft, but making people understand that, look, what Levine did was he turned the Mary Jesus thing on its head. It really has nothing to do with Wicca and witchcraft. And he did a little bit of research on witchcraft, but for example, if you want to get a part in a, in a play or movie, I've got spells for that in my book, and you don't have to, <coughs> you don't have to give over your firstborn. Wow. Oh, so, <laughs> so that's not really the way that we work. So how authentic... And no one has to go blind so you, you know, get a job. How authentic is this movie in terms of witchcraft? It's 
and, and the rituals involved. I don't think it's authentic involved. at all. I think it's authentic in in a, uh, in, a, in a in a sense of maybe satanic, but I'm not really familiar with how Satanists work. I think it's fantastic because it's so stylized and it's such a fantastic story, and it ha it's like very real but yet very surreal. Um, you know, you know, and it's hard to know. Even, and I think they did that on purpose, like, is this really happening? My favorite line in the film, this isn't a dream, this is really happening! <laughs> wow. Can we take some questions from the audience? For Lexa Roseanne, who's an authentic witch. Go ahead. Um, I have actually two questions. One of which is, when you do your W-9 at the end of the year for taxes, okay, how do you list it. yourself? Like, what's your profession? The serious question is, I assume you, do you work for hire? I do. What's the oddest spell request you've gotten that you're willing to share? Oh. That's a great question. Yeah. I think that's good. That is a really great question. Yeah. Um, wow, then I'm willing to share. Oh. That's no, qualifier. Totally what you're willing to share? Right? Like, it's real. It's real. Well, you know what? In the 90s, Madonna came into this shop I used to work Love for. Her. She's really smart. She's a really smart woman. Mm -hmm. I don't know how good of an actress she is, but she's a really smart mm -hmm. businesswoman. Do you want to tell them the store okay. that you worked in? So what do no. we have? Because okay. it's gone. It's real? Um, anyway, she wanted a candle spell to get good reviews and speed the plow. Okay. On Broadway? Really? <laughs> yeah. And she did. Now, at the time, I was taking a playwriting class with a, uh, someone who was very competitive with David Mamet. And he came into the class with the New York Times screaming. How did she get good reviews? She was horrible. She sucked. She can't even act. And I was like, wow, the magic worked. Cool. Thanks. Any other questions for Lexi Roseanne? Somebody has to have a question or two. Come on. She's a real witch. Come on, and she can answer your questions. Especially, you know, when it comes to relating to this film that we chose for tonight, Rosemary's believe, Baby. If you don't believe in witchcraft or witches, but someone puts a spell on you, can you repel the spell by your non-belief? Would the spell still work on non-believers? Well, that's a really interesting question. Thank you. Is this on? Yeah. Okay. And I guess I would answer that, that it would depend on what your unconscious believes, not what you consciously believe, but what your unconscious believes, because we can all be affected injected, you know, uh, contaminated for good or bad, right, by uh, things that uh, uh, come at us, whether, whether we're conscious of it or not. Um, but I don't want to leave you just with that, because that's kind of scary. So I have a really great spell for you, which is rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary is believed, and I can tell you that it's true, to repel witchcraft, especially bad witchcraft. So you can carry a little sprig of rosemary oh. in your purse, in oh. your pocket, and you don't have to worry. Anybody else with any more questions before we go and see the movie? No one? You had a question. Me? I think so, no? No, I don't know. Like, I wanted well, to why is this your favorite movie? You had told me before you came in. Uh, to see the movie, that this was one of your favorites. No, this is my favorite movie. It's my favorite movie. It's been my favorite movie for so many years. But it's just... Are you frightened by it? No. no. I'm not, which is weird. Why not? I... Anybody frightened by this movie? Is anyone? I'm sure I will be. Okay, he's I've never seen it before, hat. though. There was a lady behind you who had wow. a question. You were raising your hand. I was just wondering, is witchcraft something anyone can Can you talk hear? a little louder? I'm sorry. Is witchcraft something anyone can learn how to do, or does it require some something special that, that well, not everyone possesses? Can anyone learn how to do witchcraft? No. I, I think anyone could learn how to do witchcraft, but it's like saying, can anyone learn how to play the piano? Probably, that. right? But it doesn't no, mean that they're going not. to be a Mozart. Um, but the witches traditionally have been the spiritual helpers for all people. Uh, and, they, and they've also gotten a bad rep, like, you know, you have the, if you think about, you know, the old woman in the woods, and someone was sick, and they would bring that person 
to the old woman in the woods, and she would, you know, give them some herbal remedies or something, or chant something over, and that person would get well. But, you know, when the, the crops didn't do well, they'd go find the old woman in the woods and burn her. Yeah. Wow. Is witchcraft something you're born into? I am not born into it. I, I studied and I was initiated. Um, I happen to know, though, many young folk who are born into it because all uh, my coven had children and all those children were raised as witches. Wow. Anybody else with any other questions? No? Okay, we have just one thing to Wait, tell you. Wait, she had a question. Oh. Uh, are, how many covens are in New York? What is a coven? A coven. coven. A coven is a group of witches. That's hard to know because a lot of uh, people are still in the broom closet. Like you know of at least one that's out, so to speak? Uh, yes, there are many, many that are out. Are these co covens, did you say? Mm -hmm. are they well, they're a coven in the, in the movie. They're, you know, he... Uh, are there actual covens? Yes, there are actual covens. Are these good or bad co covens? Oh. Well, you know, people always ask me, am I a good witch or a bad witch? And my answer is I'm a real witch. <clears throat> but part of the Wiccan creed is do no harm. Do what you will, do no harm. Um, I think, you know, that a witch or any person wouldn't hesitate to defend themselves. Uh, but defending yourself is one thing. Like if, what's illustrated in the movie, they kill two or three people, I think. Um, I can tell you from personal experience, I've been in a lot of, coven meetings, and never once have we gathered together to do harm. What about the idea that they get personal effects from people like gloves and cast spells on them? Well, that's sympathetic magic, you know, using something that Does belongs it work? to the person. Uh, it could work. I suppose it could work. I mean, he, you know, Levin did his research. I mean, there's some things that seem pretty authentic, but the idea of the witches being associated with the devil is not really true. The or witches, death. What? Or death, right? Why wouldn't they be associated with death? I mean, is that something that they practice? Oh, you mean with killing people? Killing no. people, yeah. No. 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 Okay. But the witches are associated with the horn god, which could be mistaken as the devil. Did you have a question before we go into the no. screening of the movie? No, no, I just wondered, what, what happens in the meetings? Like, what are you reviewing? Like, what are you discussing? What do you mean? Now? When or? you meet. No, when she meets. When she leaves. When she meets with people. Oh, when she meets with people. What are they discussing? Like, the what is happening? Well, the, like, the witches have eight sab the witches have eight sabbats. Yeah. And they revolve, four of them revolve around the seasons. The okay. two equinoxes and the two solstices. Yeah. Uh, so most of the meetings have to do with honoring the god, honoring the goddess, celebrating the earth and the cycles of life and death in the earth. We are now in the death season, right? It's now. autumn. Yes. It's the okay. time of death. Look at the leaves are falling and yeah. the, you know things are dying. Things are not growing, <laughs> right? They're they're dying in nature. So. Uh, now in the movie, they, that. they talk about witches and warlocks. Warlocks are males, right? Male witches? Yeah, but in today we don't use that too much because of war. one of the other meanings of warlock is uh, like one who named names during the Inquisition. Like they would catch people and torture them. Wow. And so a warlock would name names. So they're male witches, they're female witches. Okay, before you leave, tell them how they can ring you up and how can they consult with you. You can find me at LexaRosianne.com, and I also have a postcard for everyone here. Uh, if and you, you have a book? It, yeah, The Supermarket Sorcerers. You can get it the Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble. You can get it straight from Cosimo, <coughs> uh, the publisher. Uh, you can get it straight from me. Okay. And we have a trivia contest right after the screening, so stay tuned because we're giving away free theater tickets. And by the way, next week we have the movie Trick, with the cast and the crew live right here on stage, so don't miss it. Enjoy the movie. Thank you. Enjoy the movie. I'm Classic Cinema at Cinema Village. I think this thing is on. Is it on? Okay. My name is Barry Z from the Barry Z TV show. And my special co-host tonight is Lexi Roseanne. 
Hi. who is author of the best-selling novel called The Supermarket Sorceress. Let's hear it for her book. It's an incredible book. Okay. Do you want to tell us about the book? Sure. Um, the book is a compilation of spells, charms, and enchantments using everyday ingredients to make your wishes come true. So essentially, <clears throat> all the ingredients can be found in the supermarket. Uh, you don't need eye of newt or tongue of dog. Ha! You can use uh, vanilla bean, Extract. cinnamon powder. Right. So it's an interesting choice that uh, Barry invited me <clears throat> to co-host tonight with Rosemary's Baby. So in my book, you don't have to uh, give your firstborn to the devil if you want to get a job. There we go. And tonight we're screening the thriller Rosemary's Baby, right? Do you have any questions for Lexa Roseanne, who's a real-life witch, who really knows about this movie? And if it's true or not true, authentic or not authentic? Anybody have any questions? Come on. Come on. Yeah, let's right. talk, to, that goes let's talk to Lexa. Was, what were you saying? I was just wondering if there's anything that could go in a necklace that smells that bad that could really help you have a baby. That could help you have a baby. Oh, well, you know what comes to my mind? Uh, there's something called asafoetida. I think it's actually used in some kind of cooking, in uh, Asian cooking, but oh, it smells so horrible. And uh, I once read in a book that it would uh, cure homosexuality. But I think that's because it smells so bad, right? <laughs> as if nobody want to... So if it if it you know war, it wards off homosexuality right then maybe it promotes uh, heterosexual coupling and it really stinks. Does anybody have any other questions for Alexa in reference to her book or the movie that we're seeing tonight, which is about witchcraft? I have a question for you: Is this authentic witchcraft in this movie, or is it just you know play witchcraft? Well, you know, the witches have a creed, do what you will and harm none. We also believe in the, uh, the law of return, threefold or tenfold. That means whatever you do will come back to you threefold or possibly tenfold. So it's kind of something to keep people in check from harming others. So there's a lot of harming others going on in this film. Um, I, what I read is that uh, Ira Levin, the author, that he, he, did some, he did some research on witchcraft. I don't know how deeply he dug, but also if you think about it, in that time, do you know when the movie, when he wrote the book? The movie, the film was made in 69? I think in 65. 65, the book, yeah, so, I, you know what, I personally did a lot of work kind of cleaning up the names of witches. In 1958, Gerald Gardner, no, 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 this is, it, in 19, this is sort of free, 1958, Gerald Gardner uh, wow. came out as a witch because they repealed the witchcraft laws in England. Like before that, it was uh, you know illegal to be a witch, uh, and so he wrote about being. He was a hereditary witch, his uh, family, and he wrote about witchcraft. And he uh, initiated a bunch of people actually in Kentucky, who then came to New York and started the New York Coven of Witches. Wow. And I uh, am in the New York Coven of Witches. So, um, essentially, witches believe in a god and goddess. Uh, we don't worship the devil. We worship the masculine, feminine aspects of the divinity. And uh, we're not supposed to harm anyone. I'm not guaranteeing that any witch, that, you know, some witches might want to try that. What they're using in the movie we would call sympathetic magic, like take a glove or a tie right from the person, something that belongs to the person and then uh, <clears throat> do something for... Cast a spell. Cast a spell Does it for work? good or for evil. Uh, I suppose it could work. For good or for bad? I suppose so. Wow. You had talked about... By the way, rosemary, you know, the herb, protects you from bad witchcraft. You can just take it internally or carry a little sprig in your pocket. You talked about things coming back from one to ten times. That's called karma, isn't it? Three to ten. Oh, three to ten times. Yes. Is that called karma? That's called karma. Which means what? It's either good or bad, it comes back, whatever you put out there, right? Right. And in this case, whatever it is, well, will come I back ten know. times? I don't know, because there's another way to think about it. You know, if you, if you really think about the film, 
are, is what they're doing evil or is what they're doing to perpetuate right their uh, their it's not necessarily their race, but their beliefs or their belief system, right? Or their so, religious organization, or, if that's what yeah, it's called. Yeah, their religious beliefs or their, I mean, in the very, in the, towards the very end, uh, the lines, it's very kind of moving, actually, that uh, Roman Cassavetes talks about, you know, uh, you, you're going to be here for the oppressed, you know, and the downtrodden. So it's kind of like, I mean, they're doing something very violent. It involves rape, right? It involves putting people in comas, uh, but they're doing it to perpetuate, right? Their God, uh, give life to their God, so that He can protect the people. What about making people blind or killing them? Well, I mean, that becomes a question. You know, is something evil if you're doing it to uh, perpetuate uh, yourself or your people? I am welcome. I, sir. I don't have an answer to that question. I'm just kind of playing with the idea of it. Lexa Roseanne is a real, true-to-life witch, okay, who practices witchcraft, is that correct? Correct. Or is it the Wiccan culture? Yeah, the Wicca is a reconstructionist religion that's based on the ancient matriarchal religion. And of course, it's in relationship to this movie, which is about witchcraft. Yes, but I think that actually... Like, if that movie were remade today, I think they would call them Satanists, right? They wouldn't call them witches because they're worshiping the devil. But they kind of turned the Mary Jesus story on its head. There was a line from this movie that they used to advertise this film. And it really moved me. I remember this from 86. It said, pray for Rosemary's baby. Explain that. Yeah, I mean, I know you think it's funny, yeah. but no, I mean, that, that was the advertising campaign. I don't know if you guys remember that. It said, pray for Rosemary's baby. It's brilliant, right? And I actually read something where they didn't know how to sell the film, and they turned it over to another distributor and said they'd pay him, you know, get the studio to pay him a large amount of money if he could come up with a good advertising scheme, and he, he did. It's like the picture of the carriage on a hill. It's very yes. good-looking, right? Pray for Rosemary's baby, and uh, they paid. I mean, yeah, it's interesting. So you should pray for this, right, spawn of the devil. Are there devil worshippers currently today? I don't know. I suppose. I know that uh, Ira Levin was very upset, and he expressed, um, there's like a foreword to one of the recent, he, I mean, he's gone now, but there's a foreword, one of the recent reprints of the book where he says that, you know, he really opened the door for these movies like Omen and The Exorcist, and that he kind of regretted that. The Shining too, no? The Shining too, would you say? Well, well you know, the he, opened, movie, he yeah. opened the Pandora's box. Unbelievable. Wow. Anybody else um, have a question for Lexa? Go ahead. Um, what sparked your interest to kind of take on the sorcery? Is that something that's always been a... Can you talk louder? I'm sorry. No. Um, how... Yes. Um, what led to your interest into sorcery or witchcraft? Oh, well, you know, I, it was always there when I was a kid. I was just Were you interested. born into it? No, I was not born into it. But my mother was born with a call. That's when the, uh, uh, the sa you know, the sack, the birth sack, it stays on the baby, so they're born with kind of a veil. And she was actually a very psychic, just naturally psychic. And uh, my grandmother was an herbalist. So it was around me, but uh, and I, ex I expressed an interest in it as a young kid, and my parents were, you know, encouraging, got me books from the library and stuff like that, and then I sort of forgot about it, I think, at that age where you, you know, stop uh, imagining, you know, having imaginary friends. <laughs> um, and then was it, it passed on? That's a good question. It's a possibility. Actually, one of the things they say in the Wicca is that if you're called, it's because you you were, you know, with the goddess or a priestess or a priest in a past life. Um, but then as an adult, I became interested again, and I formally sought out uh, some witches and studied and was initiated to wow. become a high priest. Is there a school for witches or warlocks? Uh, yeah, there, I mean, there are groups. Some of them are more like study groups. There, I don't think there's, uh, what's the name of that school in the Harry Potter? Anyone know? What is it? 
the Hogwarts, right? I don't know if they have a Hogwarts yet. Wow. But yeah, if you if you want to get educated. Did you go to school for it? Um, I we had a group studies. There's not a university. No. You don't graduate from it. Or well, do you, you do. Get... You do because you receive uh, three degrees of initiation. Oh, so you do get a diploma. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I have my papers. Uh huh. And where can you take it to? I mean, worldwide, you know, uh, worldwide fame and fortune, or what? Well, you know, that's a good question. I mean, I, I work with a lot of people, counseling a lot of people. I read astrology, I read tarot. You can find me at lexarosean.com, L-E-X-A-R-O-S-E-A-N.com. So I work one-on-one -on -one with a lot of people. Uh, most of them aren't witches, but the witches traditionally help people, you know, uh, all, pe all kinds of people. Wow. Uh, and I, I also belong to a coven, but the coven works. What is a coven? A coven is a group of witches that get together, but mostly we get together to celebrate the uh, espats. Or the, or the, you know, the, there's eight holidays. Including uh, Halloween, right? Yeah, that's called the Samhain. That's the witch's new year. That's a time of honoring the dead. Wow. Yeah. It's, a kind of, it's, it's interesting because it's very somber, although like Halloween is kind of... Uh, crazy and wild, right, but the Samhain is... Did this come about in Europe or here in the United States or universally? You know, I think that the Wicca is influenced by shamanism, it's influenced by uh, the, the witchcraft, like the Celtic witchcraft, the witchcraft from Europe, from Ireland, uh, from England, but also from the Mediterranean, the Greeks. By the way, were you, you know, very upset hearing about your ancestors being burned at the stake or whatever for being witches? They used to burn witches, didn't they? Yeah, it's pretty upsetting. I mean, what, what's really upsetting is I think that there were something like 8 million, I have to check on that, but w women. Women, yeah. We're not talking about the Holocaust now. Well, there no, was a... no, we're talking about the Inquisition, but I mean, a lot of women, women were... Women were burned at the stake for having red hair. Women were burned at the stake for having cats. Cats? Yeah. Why? It was a big movement against women. Did you ever see a movie called, uh, what is it, um, Bed, Book, and Candle, or something like that? Oh, that's a wonderful movie, Kim Novak. Yeah, what's the Kim correct Novak title of that? Bell, Book, and Candle. Bell, Book, and Candle. Did you guys ever see that movie? We're going to screen that here one day. But how accurate was that? Or are any of these movies you know what, accurate? That's, you know what, that's just fun. And I think that this movie is fun, too, and it's so beautifully stylized. It's, it's just a fantastic movie, and the idea that he, uh, Polanski, just really kept it so close to the book, which is very rare, and the acting is amazing. Ruth Gordon is just so delicious, right? It's horrible, hor horrific and delicious. Patsy yes. Kelly, Ralph Bellamy, it goes yeah, on and on. What a cast. What a cast. Did so, it win any Academy Awards, this movie? Uh, was nominated, right? Well, Ruth Gordon won for Best Supporting. Oh, she did? She wow. Did. Yeah. By the way, you had also said that most of the... Uh, scenery is not taking is not you know taking place here in New York. Uh, didn't take place here in New York. Right. The exteriors are shot in New York, and the interior uh, they built a set in Hollywood because he felt like he, it would be impossible to find an apartment. You'll see how specific the apartment is, and uh, you know they had to create it. But I guess for me, I you know I know there are a lot of witches, and every time a film comes out about Hollywood has not been really good to witches, uh, but there are witches who come out and you know protest certain movies. I'm not that kind of a witch. For me, this is, this, it's a fantasy. It's a going to another place. You know, I'm... So you're I'm, a good witch? I'm a real witch. <laughs> you laughed. Do you believe there are good witches and bad witches, like in The Wizard of Oz? Honestly, do you guys believe in good and bad witches? Or are they? I should ask what, a real witch. Your, that was your one question? You have a question, ma'am. I'm sorry, we can't hear you. Thank you, my it's dear. Like, I, didn't, I didn't hear her. Good people and bad people, and it's also like there's in the middle. What did she say? She said like it's like there's good people and there's bad people and there's people in the middle. I mean, we're all good, we're all bad. Uh -huh. You know, we're all somewhere in the middle. So that's why I like to say I'm a, I'm a real witch. I I have bad feelings. I have hateful feelings. Uh oh. And I have loving feelings. Uh oh. Yeah. Any other questions? Wait, wait, the thing is, though. You don't have to act on every feeling that you right. have. And, and the idea of, you know, this karma, you know, maybe back so you. something to consider the actions that you take. Wow.
But you should feel everything you ever... I don't censor my feelings. Now, how do they buy your book and are able to cast real-life spells? Okay, so again, the supermarket stores are well, spoke, the cards are falling out. Okay. And they're so, all facing up. You can get it on uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, at the Cosimo website, uh, which are the publishers. The thank you. The thank book you is available in in uh, ebook and uh, print. Part, what do you call this now? Uh, soft cover. Soft cover. Any other questions before we go to the movie? Which is why you're here. No. Well, don't leave after the screening of this movie. We have a trivia contest about the movie, and you could win free passes to this theater. Free movie passes. So we, we don't want you to miss that. And we also want you to come next week when we screen that incredible movie, Trick, with Christian Campbell. And uh, who else is in that? Uh, I, don't, I don't know that film. Oh, Trick? Trick. It's filmed here in New York. It's an incredible movie. Christian Campbell and Jim Fall directed it. And um, Tori Spelling might be here also in person to do a Q&A with us. So we hope you're there. And we hope you're all here. Have a great uh, time watching the movie, and then stay for our trivia questions afterwards and win some prizes. Thank you.